Uh, everybody, we talked about the, the Chicklets group text, us four, we, we do the show stuff. We also have the Big Chicklets uh, group text with, with, you're the one who named that, right? Big Chicklets? It's yeah, us four. I just, I just wrote Big Chicklets because like more people bigger and I need, I need, I, I need to have names of group chats or I can never find them. No, absolutely. It's uh, the Game Notes guys in Posh and, and uh, Biz, you were all over the LA Kings, uh, 8 0 oh, 2 their last 10. You kind of pumping the tires and the Whit Dog said he wasn't too impressed with him, I man. Was so. Because I he was won't shocked. start. He, he, he loves the Kings and they're a great they're team. They're 10 0 2 in their last 10 0 oh, 2 in their last 12. Let's just pump the 10 0 oh, 12 hey, in their last. Hey, the, the LA Kings are a very good team, but you talk about them so much, you would think that they're breaking records this season. You would think that they've had all this success in the past few years. The Oilers beat them last year. The Oilers are better this year than last year. I think the Kings are better this year than last year. But you're acting like I should be petrified. You're acting like the Oilers are going to be playing the Bruins in the first round. Like, the Oilers match up great against the Kings, bud. Great. The Kings, I think if you could combine the Kings' top five leading scorers, I don't even know if that would equal our top two. Okay, so that's, so that's, okay, if that's where the argument's going to be based, the reason it doesn't scare me is because if you look at two of the best defensive forwards in all of the NHL, you have Aze Kopitar and Dano, and they're there. And they know how uh, to shut down the, those types of players like that. Oh, and on top of that, Duneau's contributing. And if they can if they can X those players out, I look at forward depth, 10 forwards with 10 or more goals, five of which with 18 or more. They got guys who can what fucking did, what snap. What was the first around. thing you said? 10 forwards with what? 10 or more goals. Okay. Okay. That's pretty fucking, nice. Look, that's insane depth, right? So, and, and I just, I, I was shocked to see the, the fact that you're not scared about it, where all of a sudden they're, well, well there's probably are not going to get home ice advantage. And because of that, now they're going to either have to play, if LA doesn't win the division, they have to play LA. And or if LA does win the division, they got to play the Vegas Golden Knights. Those two right there, not necessarily easy first round matchups. I was just sh- shocked where you say, I'm not really scared, where it's like, well, they they addressed the two needs that they needed. They they added a defenseman, and then they got Corpusalo. Where Ra, you sent over the stat to the group text. What is he four zero and one since he's gotten there? Nine twenty nine save percentage with a one point seven seven goals against average. But yep. all they needed to do is was address goaltending. So right now, if if you're asking me, it's a coin flip. And it, you, when you said, oh, I'm not okay, scared. okay, I'll agree with coin flip. But you're 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 making it sound like oh Oilers are fucked, dude. I think you wrote horrible, horrible matchup for the Oilers. Like, I said it's a horrendous first round matchup for the Oilers, especially the way that the LA Kings are playing. And you're like they don't scare but me. The Oilers are buzzing as well. And and you talk about the Kings addressing needs. Yes, did the Oilers not address needs? They did. They they got this defenseman at home. He looks like fucking Nick Lidstrom since he went over there. He's a Swedish. He might be the new Nick Lidstrom. <laughs> That's what's happened since he got to Edmonton. But he's physical. And and obviously I joke around a little bit. But Biz, like, I'm looking here, like, all right, yeah, the Kings have five more points than the Oilers with nine games remaining. So that's gonna be tough. That's gonna be a tough team to catch to get home ice. Whereas last year they did have home ice and they were able to win game seven after winning game six on the road because they were down three two to the Kings. Regulation wins. Oilers have four more. Okay? That's a legit thing. So at least if somehow we get the tiebreaker, we get that. Plus 40 goal differential, plus 22 in LA. All right? We got two, maybe two of the three best players in the league. I don't think you have a top 50 player in the league. Okay? We have a dynamic, amazing power play. Ironically enough, the Kings power play is very good as well. But if you're trying to say that it's this horrendous, horrible matchup, the only team I'll say is a horrendous, horrible matchup for the Oilers is the Avalanche, and they're a horrendous, horrible matchup for every team in the league. So I, I'm not saying that, like, oh, my God, the Oilers are going to sweep them, or, oh, this is no problem. I, the, I think it'll be a six. I think the way seven. you talk about them sounds like a team that should have won the division and given themselves an easier first-round matchup to now where they have a coin flip. So it's not a good situation for the Oilers, and I would be a little bit worried about it. You got you're a hot goal three, tender. You're six and three in shootouts this year. We're zero and four. I mean, there's no shootouts in the playoffs, bitch. So, <laughs> so what I, what I'm saying is, there there is no matchup out there that is like terrifying for the Oilers in the West besides the Avalanche, and even then, okay. we'll see the Avalanche's health. 
the re- the, if, if you either drew Winnipeg, Calgary, or Seattle, I would say, well, no, Oilers are going to win that gentleman's sweep in five, right? But now that they have the Oilers either- Oilers beat the Wild in five games. I know they sure, can't play first round. we're not talking round. about that. All right. Just saying. I, I was just surprised to see that in the group text. Let's go to RA. RA, is it, it, would you be worried if you're the Oilers playing against the LA Kings in the first round? Especially yeah. if you don't have home ice advantage. Yeah, I don't think the home ice is as big a deal as the goaltending. Um, you know, I mean, Skinner's True. having a, a decent year. I don't know if they're going to probably even use Campbell at all. Uh, but either, regardless of who they throw out there, I think uh, Corpus Salo is, is a pretty good advantage for L.A. And, you know, a goaltender is always huge. I, I always go to that. So, yeah, L- L.A. would definitely be favored. I definitely would give them the edge in, in the series. But are you guys going to make a wager this year? Eddie, uh, no more I, haircut I, wages, but what do you, I can't no, fuck I, around with my hair. I, when, it's when, already when falling that matchup, out. When that matchup happens... We'll see what the line is, but I would imagine we would go in even money, even if uh, LA does get home ice advantage. Because I you're think that it'll confident. be pretty close. I think it'll okay. be pretty close to even will, money. Will when you they go play. even money if it ends up being LA Edmonton? Yeah, I'll bet you anything you want. Okay, I do still I have probably... the pink Whitney earring from last year. If you guys want to make a little hey, earring, really, bet. shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to keep it financial this time. I'm not fucking giving up my body parts anymore or my, my hairline. I'm ugly enough. I can't fuck around with getting uglier. I can't do it. Won't do I'd be it. A, I would be interested to hear what majority of Oilers fans have to say about their first round matchup and if they are worried about the Kings. Are you, would you be more worried about the Kings or the Vegas Golden Knights? Just a quick answer. I'd probably rather play the Golden Knights. With no stone, because I don't think there's any sign of him coming that's back. That's with and no that's, stone. That's another Because I think you, can run and gu- you can't run and gun the Oilers, whereas Vegas would probably try. The Kings won't. I make, I'm, I'm kind of like uh, contradicting my myself point? a little bit here. Yeah, thank I'm you. not at all saying that the Kings would be an easy win. I'm more responding to you saying, oh, basically you were saying like they're fucked. They're just fucked against the Kings. I so just that said was it's like, a horrendous, based on the outlook of coming into the season, and, and I thought that they were going to run away with that division, that now all of a sudden they got to play a coin flip in the first round rather than playing Seattle, Winnipeg, or Calgary. I don't think that that's a good situation for the Edmonton Oilers, especially of how much they rely on McDavid and Dreisaitl and how much they've had to play and, and contribute in order to get themselves in the position they are now. With Kane being out, I, I understand they have other guys in the lineup, but it's it's going to be a coin toss, and I think that we can leave it at that. All right, we got more more hockey to talk about. I think yeah, Connor's absolutely. kind of another guy we're going to lead right into, right? Yeah, we'll get there in, in a second. Uh, the other thing, too, is LA Kings are my third highest potential payout for any uh, Stanley Cup oh, winnings, Okay, too, You so. have 27 futures. We've hey, been over this a million times. 